Hey guys, welcome back to Stacy's Home. In today's video, I have three new crock pot dishes for you to try. While you're here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's head to my kitchen and get cooking. All right guys, to get started for this recipe, we are going to make a dry rub. In a bowl, we are gonna put one quarter cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, half a tablespoon of onion powder and garlic powder, one half teaspoon of ground mustard, and we are going to mix that together and set it to the side. Now we are going to put our chicken in a bowl and pour the dry rub on top and make sure all of our chicken is nicely coated with the dry rub. Next, we are going to spray our crock pot and place our chicken drumsticks in the crock pot. And then we are gonna cover it with one cup of barbecue sauce. Now this recipe calls for six to eight drumsticks, but I did do more for my larger family. Now we are going to cook this on low for six to eight hours. Once my chicken was done cooking and it was nice and tender, I removed it from the crock pot and placed it on a baking sheet. And then I took about another quarter cup of barbecue sauce and brushed it on each of the drumsticks and I placed it in my oven on broil for two to three minutes just to get that nice glaze texture on top. And then I served mine alongside some potatoes and green beans. Next up, we are making a sausage tortellini soup. To get started for this recipe, I diced up one onion, two celery sticks, and three carrots. Then in a skillet, I cooked up one pound of ground Italian sausage. Then I sprayed my crock pot and added in our cooked sausage and chopped vegetables. Then we added one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes one 14 ounce can of petite diced tomatoes, and four cups of chicken broth. I gave that a good stir, put the lid on, and cooked it on low for six to eight hours or until our vegetables were soft. After it was done cooking, I added four cups of fresh spinach, 15 ounces of frozen tortellini that I let thaw out in the fridge while it was cooking in the crock pot, and three fourths cup of heavy whipping cream, and then I seasoned it with salt and pepper. I put the lid back on and let it warm up for another 15 to 20 minutes, and then I was ready to serve. This soup was absolutely delicious and a hit with my family. Our final recipe today is Hawaiian chicken sandwiches. To get started, in a bowl, I put one and a half cup of pineapple juice, one quarter cup of brown sugar, one half cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one half teaspoon of salt and pepper, and one teaspoon of onion powder. I whisked that together and set it to the side. Next, I diced up one medium-sized yellow onion. In a skillet, I heated one tablespoon of olive oil, added my onion, and sauteed that until those onions were soft. Then I added three tablespoons of flour and mixed that in together. This is going to thicken our sauce up for us before we put it in the crock pot with the chicken. Now I slowly added in my sauce to the onion and flour mixture. 
Once all of the sauce is combined, we are going to let this sit on a low heat and bring it to a boil and let it simmer until the sauce thickens up. Now in my crock pot, I put three chicken breasts that I seasoned with salt and pepper. I poured the mixture on top and I let that cook on low for six to eight hours. Once it was done cooking, I simply shredded the chicken and served it on a toasted bun. <laughs>